everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people really appreciate you we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one is a breaking news it has just dropped the president president muhammad buhari is uh is jetting out he's leaving the country and where is he headed to he's headed to the united kingdom and he has given reasons for this trip they called it medical trip it's such a shame or to me i feel it's a shame that the president of a country, when he needs medical um, attention or when he needs to do checkup, there is no place in his country that he can do that checkup. It's such a shame. And those media aides around him, they will still be celebrating him. And they are even not ashamed to put it out there. You know, it was his media aide that put this out there, Gabashe, who stated that President Mohamed Buhari is going for routine checkup. A president of the country, I know these things uh, that they do, all of these things, they are out there in the international communities that is, in, is out there in the eyes of everyone. It's not like it's only Nigerians, only in our country that uh, we will just hear about this, we'll just see it and we've heard that, okay, our president is traveling, he's going for medical uh, uh, um, checkup. Other countries are seeing this and I, I'm just wondering, just imagine if um, the president, Joe Biden now, he wants medical checkup then he will not be he will send a message that i'm traveling i'm going for medical checkup and i'm going to germany or i'm going to australia really really it means that there is a lot of work that needs to be done in the country and all these how many years he's been um, president one term from 2015 to 2019 he couldn't put these facilities in place he, they are doable he can do them you see, they are not ready to make the country change. They are not ready to make the country progress. Medical checkup and you are traveling out of the country for medical checkup. Those who cannot afford to travel for medical checkup, what happens to them? You see what we're talking about. You see the, the state of things in the country. It's such a shame and it's painful. And there are still people who are supporting this president, Muhammad Buhari. Can they see all of this, right? Now, there are still people who are in support of this. It's really painful. Well, guys, let's just hear the statement that Gabashe will put out today. It's a shame. It's painful, but that is what it is. And then um, right now, Dino Melaye has just um, reacted to this. Not just Dino Melaye, the Nigerians have reacted to this his, uh, um, trip. We'll bring all of the details shortly, but before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, press on that bell. Press on the notification bell, guys. God bless you. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. President Mohamed Buhari is due for a two-week medical trip to the United Kingdom, UK on Tuesday. His special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, said in a statement last night, according to the statement, President Mohamed Buhari is expected back in the country in the second week of April. The statement reads, President Mohamed Buhari proceeds to London, the United Kingdom, on Tuesday 30th of March 2021 for a routine checkup the president meets with security chiefs first in the morning after which he embarks on the journey he is due back in the country during the second week of april 2021 meanwhile former senator dino melaye has asked president muhammad buhari to transfer power to his vice president yemi Osibanjo as he travels to london for medical checkup the presidency said on Monday that Buhari will be traveling to London, United Kingdom, for medical checkup and will be back in two weeks' time. But Dino Melaye in a tweet said Buhari should transfer power to the vice president through a letter to the National Assembly. He urged that the president should do this before leaving the country on Tuesday. He wrote, The president should transfer power to the vice president through a letter to the National Assembly before leaving the country in line with the constitutional provision. Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity. Femi Adeshina had in a statement on Monday evening said Buhari would proceed to London on Tuesday, March 30th for a routine medical checkup. The last time Buhari traveled out of the country was in April 2019 for medical checkup in the UK. He returned to the country in May of that year. 
this to me this is very embarrassing but anyway Dino Melayi has stated that uh, Buhari should do the right thing he should hand over to um, Vice President Yemil Sibanjo I doubt I doubt I don't see that happening you know uh, uh, when uh, Buhari was in the UK for months that one was not just two weeks he didn't hand over then it's two weeks he's going to hand over he's not going to hand over anything you know he won't do it but in the first place you know that it's not the right thing to do what sort of checkup is he going for in the united kingdom what sort of checkup he's not having any life-threatening situation to say okay this one is a life-threatening situation we need um urgent or immediate help or we just need some form of uh, uh um other hands to look at things that is not the case see our we can tell very well our our health sector is not functional it's not it's not doing well and all of this if you check <laughs> this medical trip that is going for right now you know it's going to cost a lot only for the private jet to be packed first in an international airport <laughs> you don't want to know how much that costs and they keep saying that we want to borrow that china needs to borrow us more money these are the things we keep saying. There are a lot of things that needs to be cut down so that um, Nigerians can live better life. Not just a selected few. Buhari is going for medical checkup. Medical checkup. And, you know, I, 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 at this point, those people who claim that Buhari is the best thing that has happened to the country, those, anyway, those are his followers. Usually, um, his media aide, the likes of Gabashewu, Femi Adeshina, and um, Loretta Onoche. They are all of them that keep saying that Buhari is the best thing that have happened to the country. Where are their faces right now? Because right now, Buhari wants to go for checkup. He can't do that anywhere in the country. There are no qualified persons, no qualified hospitals, no, no uh, properly equipped hospitals. And who is supposed to put those things in place? He's the one. He has failed to put those things in place. The one that, where he's running to now, who put those things in place? Who, who put them in place? They did not just fall from space. People actually did those things. People, did, they, they, the government of th that country where he's running to, they ensured that their medical uh, 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 system is functioning properly. And this one is running away to another one. It's very sad. It's very sad. We see the the the, the level of uh, the things that we're dealing with. Anyway, guys, and uh, regarding uh, Buhari handing over, I don't see that happening because uh, you know uh, when he traveled the other time that he stayed. Um, over how many months he did not um, hand over that was when Abakiari was still alive anyway Abakiari was the one even ruling then what are we talking about it's sad but these are the things we are living with let's hear your take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till I come your way again with more updates bye